Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just gonna start this video out with my fuzzy hair um, because this is going to be a vlog of my haircut. So today it is Friday, May 25th and tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, I'm going to get my hair cut. So I thought I would share that process with you. All right, so this is my hair before. Um, it's quite fuzzy, but I'm just gonna show you sort of what it looks like now. I'll take it out of the bun. Just be warned, it's a little greasy. I tend to go to the hairstylist with my hair a little greasy because I try not to wash it too much, but it is quite long. Like, um, I have a big head, so in relation to the rest of me, um, my hair is actually quite long, and I'm planning to get quite a bit cut off of it. Like, probably to here, I think, enough that I can still put it in like a low ponytail. Um, yeah, so this is my hair. There is a lot of it. It also for sure needs the roots done, which is happening tomorrow as well. So just all of this dry crud at the bottom, it's just, it's quite fluffy, I guess, and very, very dry. So. I'm just looking forward to kind of cutting it off. Um, yeah. So that's it, that's my before. I'm sitting in my car in a really busy parking lot um, you may even be able to hear the fan going in my car um, anyway uh, like people can definitely see me talking to you guys um, I actually have like half an hour to kill before I go to my hair appointment um, so I did some shopping and like, you can see people walking behind me. Anyway, um, I did some shopping, and I thought I would show you while I had time what I bought. So, um, I went into, what the hell is it called? Um, Thousand Island Soap Company. That makes sense. So, I went into the Thousand Island Soap Company, and I kind of went nuts um i bought a bath bomb which is what i'm holding in the coffee filter here um it smells like watermelon and it is freaking delicious smelling i'm gonna wrap this up in the tissue they gave because to be honest i don't trust that this isn't gonna get all over my car there we go they also had watermelon um, lotion, and honestly, it smelled so good. I didn't even look at the price. Turns out this was close to $18, but I mean, pretty sure it's made locally. Yes, it's handmade here, so. Um, yep, anyway, so it smells 
like watermelon, kind of like watermelon bubblicious. Uh, pretty awesome. I've got some business cards from the market. And, oh yes. I also picked up this, um, they call Headwise Migraine um, Roll-On. So you put it on your temples, then in the middle of your forehead, then down the back of your neck. And it, the stuff in it basically helps to like cool your head, like freezes the migraine, so they say. And um, it's supposed to help relieve the migraine. It won't necessarily take away everything. Um, she did say that if I have a really bad migraine, to also put it on the bottom of my feet, which I'd never heard before. So I'm gonna try that next time I have a migraine. I also picked up this cute little dish. Um, I have no idea who makes it or if they make them in there, but it just looked, I love the glazing on it. Um, they're just adorable. Uh, it's really just for earrings and things. I have a bunch of these like handmade pottery dishes. Um, and that's what I use them for, or like keeping hair elastics in. Okay, so that's everything I got from the Thousand Island Soap Company. Um, I did pick up a peanut butter treat for my dog, and this is from White Paws. Um, they said they make sweet potato treats as well, which I'm probably gonna try and pick up some for Abby tomorrow from the market, maybe. I don't know, I don't know if I, know if I wanna haul my butt back down here again. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that was, I just, that was everything I picked up from me. Although I'm not really sure if the dog treat counts. Um, I also went to the market and got my mom some asparagus because this is basically her favorite vegetable. Maybe. I don't know. She just really likes it. And the final thing I got were these beads. Um, this morning I went to Gemstorm and... Um, which is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's basically like a gemstone convention kind of thing where people are selling the things they make with gemstones and like all the stuff you need for it and all that. Um, and yeah, so, um, I went looking specifically for beads because I need some to make some chokers, um, I have this idea that I want to make some monochrome chokers, so like ones with pink ribbon with the pink rose quartz stone, and then some with dark red or like burgundy ribbon with the garnet stone, because like this is technically um, red, I guess, it just looks black. Uh, it looked, in fluorescent light, it looked red, so anyway. Uh, that's what I got, and now I have half an hour to my hair appointment. And I don't really have anything else to do besides sit in my car. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this off and read my book, put the windows down maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, bye. So I am back from my haircut and um, I love it. I got it highlighted. Um, honestly, I didn't really pay attention to what they did, but they did an awesome job. Um, it's nice and blonde and it'll get blonder the next time I go. So yeah, uh, I love it. I love the length. Um, it's not quite as short as I thought it would be, I think. Um, but I like the length a lot in terms of like what it allows me to do. So 
yes um the place i went was blunt hair studio um honestly if you are in kingston you should go there that was my first time visiting and i have friends that go there all the time and they rave about it honestly i had the best time they're so fun they have good music they know what they're doing my hair looks great it feels great i'm not full of like tons of products they barely even heat styled my hair beyond like blow drying it like all of this is just from the blow dry so and like i really just want to keep touching my hair and marie gave me um like a bit of the bumble and bumble hairdresser's oil uh primer to try out because it's what she put in my hair um for dry to very dry hair yeah that's there's lots of people watching me right now um yeah so she gave me this a little bit of primer that she had left and to try out so i will do that because honestly my hair does not blow dry well it doesn't air dry well it doesn't do anything well until i flat iron it so yeah anyway i'm gonna go find some dinner because i am really hungry it was like noon when i ate last and that was six hours ago so yeah let's go it's probably just gonna be taco bell to be honest so yeah so remember when i said i was probably gonna get taco bell for dinner I got Taco Bell for dinner. Um, and now I'm just going to sit here and eat it. It's like quarter to eight now. It's been a long day. I am very tired. Very sweaty. And I'm going to eat my food in my car. And then I'm gonna go home. Because I'm not even home yet. Okay, so dinner is done. I am gonna go home. I have some work to do um, before I can relax a bit. Um,. And I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video if you want to. Um, and if you're looking for any of my links to my social media, it's all in the description box. And yes, I will see you guys next time. Bye.